Hey everyone, today we're talking about the Chicago Electric uh, two and a half gallon shop vac. We picked this thing up as an addition to our large shop vacs because it is a pain in the butt trying to get one of those things into a vehicle to uh, vacuum out your floorboard. So we picked up this little guy and uh, we were looking at the Bauer as well. They're out of stock on the Bauer and so we got this one and I'm happy we did. This thing has a ton of power for this little package. Uh, it's like 5 amp, 2.5 horsepower peak. I don't really know what that means. I don't know what's nominal horsepower range is, but man, it did a great little job. Uh, comes with all the same accessories as the Bauer one does. Comes with the uh, little brush thingy and uh, the pocket hole sucker thingy. I don't know what any of this stuff is called. It's the tiny little one. Um, biggest complaint about this, and this isn't really a complaint about the Chicago Electric one, this is all shop vacs. None of the manufacturers figured out a way to do something with the hose. It's always just dangling there. And I might be misinterpreting this. I didn't read the instructions. They might have. There's a lot of little, like, slots for stuff. Maybe you're supposed to take it off, put it there. I don't know. It's just a personal annoyance of all shop vacs that uh, manufacturers don't come and figure out a cool way to wrap it up. This thing does have a nice little uh, cord reel wrap on it. So, I mean, that's good. And uh, it is what dry vac comes with the little filter and everything. And so you can do water um, or dry stuff as well. Um, the only actual complaint about this one is actually on this. So this little brush slides on the wide mouth uh, like so. And like so. And with that, so when you're going this way, everything is fine and dandy. But if you catch the carpet and you go left, it will start to slide off on you. And that might just be me not being a very good operator, but it was super annoying when I was doing uh, the truck floorboard. Because, uh, you know, there might be something, and maybe it's, I shouldn't have such a disgusting floorboard that I need to scrub. Uh, but I was trying to use this as like a little scrubber like that. And it would keep catching and coming off. A little annoyance. Definitely not any reason not to buy this. Uh, it's just an annoyance, really, at the end of the day. So, overall, I think it's a cool little uh, shop vac, especially for the price. So, I definitely recommend it. Hey, guys, don't forget, giving away some Icon Tools, an Extendo Ratchet, added that to it. A couple of little things we haven't shared with you yet. Um, but we're giving them away once we hit 1,000 subscribers. So, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and get yourself entered into the free drawing. All right, guys, now for something serious. How does the Chicago Electric two and a half gallon shop vac fare in the zombie apocalypse? And it does not. Except for you could use it as a small storage container, but that really isn't faring at all anyways. Especially because we just did the um, video on the 4-in-1 uh, toolbox set. That's a lot more storage for your value. So ultimately, shop vacs do not do good. Uh, for the zombie apocalypse. You could use it to store gasoline or something like that in it, uh, but you know, you couldn't actually use it to suck up vol the volatile chemicals because it will make the thing explode. Uh, well, I guess you could fill it with some gas and have it in a bucket of gas on a trip line so if a zombie walked through it, it would cut on and then explode, but then you need power. I'm giving it a 0.5 because that's way too much to think about when a hammer will do a thousand times better in a zombie apocalypse. So yeah, doesn't do nothing for a zombie apocalypse, sorry. Hey everyone, just wanna let you know, I'm not affiliated with Harbor Freight and they're not sponsoring me yet. I'm just doing this because I love Harbor Freight and all their tools. I've had lots of great experiences with them and uh, they're always helpful, the staff is really knowledgeable and it's really, for the most part, the best bang for your buck, so. Just want to make it clear, definitely not sponsored yet, Harbor Freight. <clears throat> Call me. And uh, I hope you all enjoy the videos.